While most of our video training has been focused on character, culture, and most importantly, spiritual preparation, we're going to turn now to some logistical aspects of preparing for your mission trip. In your BYG manual, you'll find important information there to help you with your travels with things such as packing, arrival at the airport, or money exchange. But now let's turn our attention to Dan as he walks us through arrival information specific to your time in Israel. And may God bless you in your final preparations. We've been praying for God to do a mighty work, and you are part of that. After landing in Israel and after getting off the plane, um, you will um, walk towards passport control. At passport control, you need to secure a three months tourist visa. That visa, um, for you Americans, you don't need to apply for it ahead of time. You just um, will receive it right there by the visa officer at Passport Control. Now, it's very important that you understand that you're coming in as a Christian tourist. You need to secure that three months tourist visa. Um, you're not applying, you're not asking for a volunteer visa, which will be um, a year-long um, visa. You're not asking for a work visa, which again will be a long-term visa. You're coming in for a short term, for a week, two weeks, maybe three weeks. And you are coming in as a Christian tourist. Most of you are gonna um, walk um, around Israel and Jerusalem and see some sites which definitely qualify you as a tourist. Now, um, um, some of you, um, a small minority of you, are not gonna see any sites. You're just coming in to serve in our project. So for you, you are still um, considered by law to be a Christian tourist. Um, so you could say, my purpose of this visit is to come to meet some people. And um, you can even say, I'm, I'm coming in on a pilgrimage. I'm coming in to, to exercise my Christian faith in the Holy Land. Um, try to avoid words like volunteer and, and working, because again, those would uh, bring up red flags for that visa officer. Also, um, saying I'm coming on a mission trip or I'm coming to evangelize, again, um, those are words that mean differently to, to the visa officer than, 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 than they do to you, and we just don't want you to have uh, troubles um, upon entry. So again, the purpose of your trip, you're coming in as a Christian tourist, and uh, that's what you should say when asked, what's the purpose of your trip? Say, hey, I'm a Christian tourist coming to see the land, coming to meet the people of the land. Now, um, after um, you're done and then the visa officer gives you um, that tourist visa, and that tourist visa is gonna be a small piece of paper, and it's very important that you keep that piece of paper. You will need it when you live Israel and um, when, when, when you leave the land, okay? So um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us and uh, thank you so much.